Our Good Friday worship continues with the bidding prayer, a historic prayer of petitions and requests to our Lord God. Let us pray for the whole church that our gracious Father would defend her from the devil and keep her faithful to her Lord. Almighty and everlasting God, you have revealed your saving name to the world through Jesus Christ our Lord. Protect us from the assaults of the evil one and help us remain faithful to your word so that in every adversity we may stand firm in our faith and give ourselves fully to our Savior's work through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for those who serve in the public ministry and for all people of God. Almighty and everlasting God, you rule over all things for the good of your people. Preserve us from divisive spirits and false teachers. Give your servants the grace to proclaim Christ joyfully in word and deed, so that all who hear them may come to know their Savior better and be strengthened for their lives of service. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for those who are being instructed in the Word, that they remain firm in the simple faith of baptism. Almighty and everlasting God, you make us your own dear children by the washing of rebirth and renewal in the Holy Spirit. Give strength to all who are buried with Christ in baptism, that each day they may die to sin and rise again to live new and holy lives, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for our earthly government, our rulers, and all who are in authority. Almighty and everlasting God, you have established earthly government to keep a measure of order in this dying world and to protect us from the disorder of sin. Give to all rulers the wisdom to govern well and to all citizens the desire to obey them so that we, we may live peaceful lives in all godliness and holiness, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray that our gracious Father would protect us and our communities from the many earthly calamities that threaten us. Almighty and everlasting God, on all sides we are surrounded by danger from wars and famine, from disease and pestilence with the devil begrudging us every minute of our lives. Protect us from all these miseries, so that your name may still be glorified in them, and so that we may safely pass through them to your heavenly kingdom, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for those who are outside the church, that they may come to know the one true God and Jesus Christ whom he has sent. Almighty and everlasting God, your Son was lifted up on the cross so that he might draw all people to himself through the proclamation of your word. Mercifully gather from the nations a people that are your very own, that we may join together around your throne in glory to praise and thank you forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for our enemies and for all those who hate us. Almighty and everlasting God, no one can harm us without grieving you whose name we bear. We ask that you would change the hearts of those who work against us and who hate us without reason. Give them repentance and faith so that they may be glad with us and find joy in your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for all who suffer under the cross and trial. Almighty and everlasting God, you sent your Son into the world to bear our griefs and to carry our sorrows. Help those who are suffering for your name's sake and who are struggling against temptation, that they may not be overwhelmed with sadness, but find relief in your grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Finally, let us pray for all the things which our Lord would have us ask in the words he himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. 